All right, Shalom. I give all praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. Special salutations to the brothers that are out sincerely teaching this word, uh, sincerely and in truth. Uh, this is your Tab with the uh, Sakari Camp, uh, back with another edition of the Confused Council of Christians, um, led by Slave Master Malone and his group, the Shield Squad, Slave Master Perea, and the Soldiers of God. Uh, we call them the Soldiers of Satan. Really, it's Slave Master P and the No Limit Soldiers of Satan, all right? And uh, <laughs> what you're getting ready to see here is this guy, Mike Perea, once again, man, um, acting like he's smart, acting like he knows everything. You're going to see this guy literally say that Abraham sinned when he didn't divide the pigeons and that he's the reason for a 432-year captivity. But not only that, while he's sitting here teaching this false doctrine, he's going to tell the guy that's correcting him, Joshua Wallace, that he's unlearned, that he's ignorant, and that he's incognizant, and that he's incognizant. All right. Vocab Malone just did a video on the Sakari talking about seven ways the Sakari is like Satan. The very first one, he says, because we're arrogant. I don't know if you've ever seen a more complete, arrogant person than this guy, Slave Master P. All right. So we're going to get right into it. But first, we're going to let you hear this guy say that he came out of the Hebrew Roots movement and he was in a cult. So this guy was in a cult, and he's going to tell you he was in a cult for five years, all right? And then he decided to come out of that cult and go against the Hebrew Israelites. So we're just going to get into it, man. Okay, so you got Mike Perea right here, right? He says, Joshua Wallace, you do realize God punished Abraham's seed because of that misstep on his end, right? All right, so right here, he's going into some other stuff. I'll read it. It says, just like the laws of the clean and unclean animals uh, for sacrifice are outlined in Leviticus, but Noah had knowledge of them. You're so simple. All right. So as you can see, Mike Perea is saying that the Israelites went into slavery for 430 years because of a simple misstep on Abraham's half. All right. So this is him responding. He says, Abraham did transgress the Lord's commandment in Genesis 15, 8 through 13. How you did not know that is beyond me. Romans 3 and 23. So you can see how he's arrogant. He plays a little game. So Josh Wallace laughs. He says, uh, in Genesis 15, 8 through 13, Abraham transgressed. You got the scripture wrong, Mike Perea. <laughs> All right? So look, Mike Perea, it says, Joshua Wallace, read, unlearned one. Is that arrogant? See how arrogant this dude is? And he's wrong, though. So look, it says, Genesis 15, 8 through 13, verse 8. It says, and he said, Lord God, whereby shall I know that I shall inherit it? And he said unto him, take me a heifer of three years old, and a she go to three years old, and a ram of three years old, and a turtle dove, and a young pigeon. Remember that, a turtle dove and a young pigeon. It says, and he took unto him all these, so Abraham took all the things the Lord told him to take. He says, and divided them in the midst, and laid each piece one against another. But the birds he divided not. Or so like the bird, it says, but the birds divideth he not. It says, and when the fowls came down upon the carcasses, Abraham drove them away. All right, so he's saying that Abraham sinned, and this is the reason why the Israelites were in slavery for 432 years, because Abraham didn't divide the birds. <laughs> this is what Mike Perea said, and this is why there's no way he should be coming out of a five-year cult and then jumping into Christianity, and all of a sudden he has a bunch of people following under him. This is madness, all right? So let's look. So look what Joshua Wallace says to him. He says, we don't divide birds as burnt offerings, dummy. I'm trying to figure out how, like he asked people questions, how you didn't know this is beyond me. How you didn't know that, Mike? How are you saying that we went to slavery for 432 years because Abraham didn't divide the pigeon? Leviticus chapter 1, verse 14. It says, and if the burnt sacrifice for his offering to the Lord be of fowls, then he shall bring his offerings of turtle doves or of young pigeons. Isn't that what we just read back there in Abraham when the Lord told him to bring that? It says, and the priest shall bring it unto the altar and wring off his head and burn it on the altar. And the blood thereof shall be wrung out at the side of the altar. And he shall pluck away his crop with his feathers and cast it beside the altar on the east part by the place of the ashes. Verse 17. And he shall cleave it with the wings thereof, but shall not divide it asunder. And, by, and it goes on to say, but clearly it tells you there's a law in that. You don't divide the bird. And this guy's saying because Abraham divided the bird, Abraham sinned, and that was the reason we went to slavery for 432 years. This is madness. So you see, he says, it doesn't mean Abraham didn't offer the pigeon. 
and when vultures always come, and vultures always come when there's carcasses, all right? So point being, this guy just caught him lying, and what's funny is that Mike Perea went and kicked him out of the, out of the little chat room, out of the forum, once he got cut like this, and see, the SEAL squad wants us to forget things like this happen, all right, the, the, the SOG, all right, or the SOS, the Sons of Satan, all right, they want us to forget that stuff like this is happening, all right, they want us to forget that they told us these lies. Uh, look what Mike Perea is saying. Look how look how proud this dude is. It says, bro, cut the nonsense. You're the same dude who stays taking shots at Christians, trying to boast in yourself as if you have a wealth of knowledge of topics that you aren't even well versed in until this Christian here comes in and shows you just how incognizant you actually are because you're filled with destructive pride, complete ignorance of the topics you attempt to engage people on. Now, I mean, do I even have to say anything? Volcab Malone said that. I mean... Is this not arrogance right here, man? So Mike Priya is like the devil, right? Period, point blank. Now look at this. It says Terrence Rusher McGee. Now he's calling, he's tagging a dude, a black dude who's in a Christian fraternity religion. Just go look that up. Christian fraternity Christians or something. It's some of the coldest stuff you'll ever see. So it says uh, Terrence Rusher McGee, bruh. I think it's unbelievable just how ignorant Joshua Wallace actually is. And this dude has the nerve to want to argue with folks on topics he clearly has no business engaging in. And then, you know, this, this idiot down here that loves Esau, this says, bro, they're going to finally realize, they're going to realize it real quick. <laughs> What's crazy is that I wonder if he even realized what happened after reading all of this. All right. So there you guys have it, man. This dude is a, a false teacher, man. And this proves that it doesn't matter if you can speak Hebrew, if you can speak Greek like these guys can. They can do all that, but they still get all this wrong. Simple stuff like that. You heard this guy just say, Abraham sinned with the offering. And because of that sin, the Israelites had to go through a 432-year captivity. You see somebody that's correcting them, that person is ignorant, unlearned, and incognizant. All right? This is what you get when you deal with these Christians. And you know that it's not over with, man. We got a whole bunch more for y'all. Shalom on.